So if you go to the top right of your screen, you'll see this tab called Build. And in here, this is gonna handle our whole export process for our terrain. Right now, you'll see the only thing in our graph here is the mesher. And that is this node here. And that is connected to the last node that is being used to affect my geometry of the terrain, right? So that's piped out directly to my mesher. And if I go to my mesher properties, you can see a couple different things. So whenever I'm exporting geometry, I want to make sure I'm exporting wavefront OBJ files. I keep it default, normalized. You want to export tries adaptive so that you don't have a ton of polygons in your geometry. The main thing to think about when you're exporting geometry from Gaia, in my opinion, you want to export the least amount of polygons possible while still maintaining a bit of detail. You're going to add all of the high fidelity detail that you see in your terrain in Gaia. You're going to add that through a details map which is essentially a bump map that is gonna like bring all of our detail back in in our 3D application. So don't get too concerned if you export the geometry and it doesn't look exactly like what you see in your Gaia project file. So yeah, we're gonna select tries adaptive. You can export LODs. So essentially what LODs are, are lower res versions of your mesh. You'll see that my vertex count is set to 2048. And if I put a LOD one in, you're gonna get a mesh that is 1024 by 1024. So you can put a few different ones of these, right? And you can get a few different resolution exports of your geometry, which I think can be very helpful depending on what your project calls for. But I'm gonna set that back to none for this. I'm gonna to go to my main texture, which is the last node in my tree. And this contains the final texture that I built for this terrain. Now, how I mark this for export is by hitting F3 on my keyboard. You'll see this little orange dot, and that means it is a map set for export. If I go back to my build tab, you'll see terrain main diffuse dot tiff. If I go to this drop down, I can change the type of file that is gonna export when I hit build finally. But I'm gonna leave it as a dot tiff. And then I can simply go through and mark all the maps that I think I need for export. So this was a tutorial about rivers, so I'm gonna export my river map, F3. I'm gonna export my details map, which you can see here. Highlights all of this fine detail in the terrain. And it's going to be super helpful for us to add some detail back in later. So I'm going to hit F3 on that. I want my slope map, F3. We can export our snow map. Like you can just get crazy with it, right? Uh, soil map. We'll get the texture before the sandbanks after the sandbanks. And then I think these might be helpful to have as well. Now, there are so many different maps that you can export from Gaia. We're not going to get into all the different types of exports that you might want to do. That's not what we're covering in this tutorial. We're just going over the super basic process of exporting this stuff. So under my build tab, you'll see all of the maps that I've selected to be exported and I have them all set to be .tiffs. Under build method, I'm gonna keep it as a normal build, but you could do a tiled build. That would basically make it so that your terrain can be repeated over and over again, and you can make a much larger environment. My color space is gonna be sRGB. If you add mutations, your build will generate with different seeds. So essentially that means if I hit five, I'm gonna get five different versions of my terrain all generated through this setup just with different seed numbers. And so that is incredibly helpful for generating a bunch of different terrains at once. I'm gonna keep the range to proportional, set my mutations back to none for this. And then I'm gonna set my build destination. I have my build destination set to the file location, file name, builds, date, et cetera, et cetera. But you know, there's a ton of different options here under this dropdown. See which one works best for you. And then I'm just gonna click start build. And if everything is set up properly, you should see this window appear and it will show you the progress as Gaia slowly works through building your terrain. So our export has finished. 
And you can see that we exported all of those mats. Boom. You can drag your mesh into your 3D application. You should be seeing it pop up as it was in Gaia. All right, so that was a basic overview of how to output your terrain from Gaia, including your texture maps. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.